everyone. Welcome to BadgerBeat.com. Rob Hernandez alongside Jim Polzine of the Wisconsin State Journal. Time for Jim to hand out his game balls and break down the Badgers' convincing performance in a 68-17 win over Bowling Green. And Jim, let's start first with the game ball. Seems pretty obvious. You're going to give it to the big guy. Yeah, duh. I mean, I don't know what, who else I give it to. Melvin Gordon had a great day. Um, did a lot of damage and a limited amount of carries, really. There was. It's funny, early on on Twitter, there were people complaining about uh, Melvin not getting the ball enough, and it seemed like the next minute, all of a sudden, he's breaking off long runs left and right. So kind of the performance everybody's been waiting for from the uh, Heisman hopeful. I'm not sure you can still call him that, but today was more Heisman-esque as far as Melvin Gordon's concerned. And as far as uh, the thumbs up, uh, I, you know, hard not to give that to Melvin Gordon too. Yeah, you know, I give it to the offensive line because I think anytime you rush for 644 yards, which is just a ridiculous amount, uh, the offensive line des- deserves a lot of credit. That's, that's a pretty unheralded group. There's not a lot of star power in that group like in the past, but I thought they did a great job today. And not just them, tight ends, receivers, it's a complete group effort. And um, you know, we saw today just how successful they were on the ground. Thumbs down. A lot of people will be uh, chuckling at this one. Well, listen, <laughs> this is not an easy thing to do when you win by 51 <laughs> points to find a thumbs down. I feel like I threw uh, Rafael Gaglione under the bus two weeks ago, but I picked Tanner McAvoy, and I just think he went backwards in terms of the passing game. I think that's not easy to have a rhythm in the passing game when you're running the ball that much, but I just didn't think he was as sharp today as he could have been. He also lost a fumble through a pick, so not his best effort. I think we saw... Low point against LSU, pretty high point against Western Illinois. This was somewhere in the middle, and frankly, it was a, it was a choice by default because he, he didn't play that awful, but I, I still think there's room for improvement. And Jimmy, before we get uh, blown away along with the stadium cups up here in the upper deck, uh, we got to take a look at how people will see this big Badger win over Bowling Green, starting first with the Badgers. Uh, obviously, a lot of confidence to be derived from a win of this nature. Well, I think, frankly, going back to the offensive line, they were sick of hearing about how poor the running game was after the Western Illinois game so I think the fact that they could go out and get over 600 yards rushing yards today over 700 yards of total offense this was their statement to say hey we can still run the ball and and other teams in the on the uh in the schedule the rest of the way need to know that and of course the fans uh have a lot of ways to look at this uh if there were one in particular how will they see this big win welcome back Melvin Gordon I think there's a lot of people wondering uh about him um it was really as good as people thought he'd be coming this season. I think today showed that, yes, there is one superstar on this team. Uh, they're clearly the best player is Melvin Gordon, and he showed that. I know we're not quite to the uh, how the college football playoff committee might see this, and it might not even be relevant, but right now all we got is the AP pollsters. How will they see this win over Bowling Green, and will it move the Badgers up significantly in the, in the national rankings? It'll depend on, on the way the rest of the schedule plays out today, but... Um, I think it's impressive. I mean, this is the MAC champion from last year. I mean, you can say what you want. This is a team that beat Indiana last last week. It's a terrible defense. I think every number that came out today needs a caveat that this is a very, very bad defense. But you still beat the MAC champion by 51 points. I think it's an impressive performance. They, Wisconsin did what they had to do against a uh, mediocre, maybe the word I should use, a mediocre opponent. All right. Thanks, Jim Polzine. That's the Badger Breakdown. I'm Rob Hernandez for Jim Polzine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week after the South Florida game.